okay, so I got up at around 6 a.m. this morning, just took a shower, flying to New York in about two and a half hours, I guess, plane leaves around two and a half hours. And I'm a little tired because I stayed up until about 1.30, defeating one of the more, one of the most hardcore games of all time, Haze. Um, live on Twitch, so if you haven't already followed me on Twitch, what's wrong with you? Yeah, so I maybe got three hours of sleep last night. I'll probably try to sleep some on the plane, and uh, you know, it, I'm an incredibly hardcore someone who doesn't need to sleep much, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'll see you in a bit. After making my very important coffee, it was time to head to the airport for my early flight. In a very offensive turn of events, I did not even sit first class on this airplane. It was absurd. To make matters worse, my YU didn't even work on the airplane. I'm not sure what was wrong with it, but I'm gonna contact Nintendo immediately. Our first flight brought us to LaGuardia Airport, where I had no problem going up escalators, and I did not stumble or trip at all after searching for Pokemon gyms to conquer, I decided to go to a burger shop. And there I got a chicken sandwich. I was going to do an incredible food review of this chicken sandwich, but it simply was not worth it. So instead, here's a time lapse of me eating it. You can judge for yourself what you think I thought. There's a first time for everything, and in order to get on our plane, we had to take a bus. This is something that I was simply not used to as I most often fly private, or at least first class. After finally landing in Buffalo, New York, which of course is home to the four-time consecutive Super Bowl losers, the Buffalo Bills, we decided that it was time to get a drink. Or six. Having a chocolate quarter. Go fuck yourself. Alright. <laughs> is that what yours is? Slice of Haven? Slice of I finished all my beers. I got like two and a half. I finished them on accident. I didn't realize how this was done. What are you going to do? You look like you're going to do something more. We're famous. Turn around. All right, whatever. <laughs> After making many more responsible decisions, we finally arrived at the casino. By the way, you are going to see some snowmobiling during this video, but uh, not a ton. <sighs> What's up YouTube, it's Philo here, and what a hectic day. First day ever in New York outside of an airport, for me, so that's pretty cool. Um, Wow. So I already showed a lot of what today has been like, what I've done so far today. Two different flights and about an hour and a half uh, car ride to the resort that I'm at right now, which is in a town called Salamanca, tomorrow and Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Um, I'll be shooting Snowcross, which is snowmobile racing, so I'm looking forward to that. That should be pretty fun, but uh, tonight I'm probably going to go party some more, and I won't be filming any of that, so you guys won't be able to see what's going on. But just imagine that there's a ton of celebrities there, and I had the greatest of times, and everything that you think that I'm probably doing that's good, I probably did. So, we'll see you around. As most of you certainly know by now, I am a world-class snowmobile racer, or rider. Either way, I am the best. I was only not competing in this competition because I didn't want to. 
not because of any lack of skill or coordination. Anyways, here are some clips of some mobile racers who are not as good as I am. I spent some time wandering around inside the hotel, looking at all the snowmobiles that I can most definitely afford. Then I sat down and made this face where it looks like I have three chins. Oops, I'll have to remember to cut that clip. There was a lot more snowmobiling that day, but I was far too busy to get anything more than these incredibly artistic clips. After finishing for the day, I decided to spend the evening at the spa with my good friend Robert Kraft. I don't have any clips from there. The next day I was very tired, but I still had another long day of shooting these incredible, but not as good as I am, snowmobile racers. I need to make Philo beanies. I think that'd be cool. It just says Philo instead of this one. I can't wear the Philo hat out here. It's just too cold. All right, this is where I'm at. The next day at the Buffalo Airport, I decided to try Tim Horton's coffee for the very first time. Here at the here at the Buffalo Airport, I decided I'm gonna try some Tim Horton's coffee because we don't get that where I live. So here we go. Here's my review of Tim Horton's coffee. Not hot. Um, it's not cold. It's, a little, it's above lukewarm. Incredibly mediocre. Tim Hortons is overrated. Not even impressed at all at this lid that they use. Look at this, it's a cheapy lid. Come on. Sadly, that was the last thing that I recorded. And why? Because I got food poisoning from Tim Hortons coffee and breakfast. Thanks a lot, Tim. You ruined this video. Now I don't have an ending.